It was a frustrating weekend for anyone flying Southwest Airlines in the U.S. More than 300 flights were canceled and more than 1,000 were delayed. Last minute cancellations have also been happening here in Canada, creating havoc for many passengers and their travel plans. Pat Ford has the story on Consumer Alert tonight. Pat. Thanks, Michelle and Nathan. We've been hearing from viewers over the past month about flights being canceled with short notice. It's not exactly clear why the cancellations are taking place, but it's causing major hassles for travelers who have to make other plans fast. So this, this was just the most devastating news. Carol Everett of Pickering and her family planned a special trip to British Columbia in August. Her husband Martin died last year and it was his wish to have his ashes returned to the West Coast. Hours before their WestJet flight was to leave, it was canceled. They didn't say it was because of COVID. They didn't say the plane didn't arrive. They didn't say anything. They just, sorry, there's nothing we can do. They were told they could go on another flight the following day in the evening, but instead they paid $3,600 for three tickets to fly with Air Canada. Vanessa Stokes Archer of Milton flew to Halifax with her mother and twins and was to be joined by her husband. When he went to board his flight with Flair Airlines, it was cancelled while he was at the airport. His flight was at 1240. We were told it was delayed by half an hour. And then 20 minutes before that new departure time, they said the flight was cancelled. With no other Flair flight available for days, he had to buy a ticket with another airline for $600. They offered no way to get him there and no compensation to be able to get him there in some way. Gabor Lukacs with Air Passenger Rights says flights are being cancelled because planes aren't full or there are staffing shortages. The airlines have been over-promising to the public. They have been selling tickets on flights for which they don't really have the crew to operate. And as a result, they are canceling flights. Lukacs says when flights are canceled, passengers deserve compensation. But he says many airlines don't want to pay it. The laws are there, but the laws are not being enforced, not being followed. CTV News reached out to WestJet and Flair to ask why their flights were canceled. But we did not receive a response back. And if your flight is cancelled in Canada, you could be eligible for up to $1,000. You're advised to take down as much information as possible, including added expenses, and then approach the airline for compensation. On your side, I'm Pat Foran.